So there was a problem on the advanced JEE I looked at a few days ago that I was kind of like interested in. This problem is so de devilish, I think, because it's it's so... I think it's actually not as hard. Like, I, I was trying to do this the other day, and I was like doing something really, really stupid to get this problem. And then I realized it's probably much easier. So I think we need to recognize here, I need the sum and difference formulas. Remind me if I'm right or not, I don't remember. It's like sine A, cosine B, and then I think the sine say the same, uh, cosine A, sine B, and then cosine of A plus or minus B. I believe it's the same sign, so it goes cosine A, cosine B, minus plus sine A, sine B. Now, is that correct? So we have, let's see here, we have the sine and the sine and the cosine and the, so that these two, those two should give us, if I'm not mistaken, 6x minus 11x over 2, which is equal to cosine of x over 2. Yeah, I mean, I think this is just sine x over 2, right? So we have cotangent of x is equal to negative. Sorry if I talk out loud. This is just kind of how I do math. Um, so we can say tangent of x is equal to uh, negative 11 over 5. Tan squared plus 1 is equal to secant squared, which is equal to 1 over cosine squared. Uh, 11 over 25 plus 1 is equal to 1 over cosine squared of x. That uh, 5 over 6, or plus minus, is equal to cosine of x. But we should note that uh, cotangent is, so we are in the, uh, we're in the second quadrant here, because this is between pi over 2 and pi, so that's quadrant 2, right? So this is pi over 2, this is pi. So we're in quadrant 2, right? And so cosine, so it's all students take count. Um, so sine should be positive, cosine should be negative in this quadrant, so we should take the negative 5 over 6. Yeah, okay. So sine of x is equal to root 11 over 6, and it's going to be the positive sign. I may have just done all that work for nothing, but say la vie, right? Okay, cosine of x over 2, and then cosine x over 2 is equal to... Oh, right, it's this identity. I remember now. I remember. So, well, this should be in the first quadrant, so this should be positive, right? Because if we're in the first quadrant, then everything should be positive. 1 plus 5 over 6. Oh, what? That's crazy, yo. Wait, so we did a minus minus five. Did I do that right? Oh no, no, because no, this is this is minus, right? This is a this is a minus five six, so it's plus a negative. So well, root eleven. Oh, this is a root here. So this is equal to root eleven plus root one over root twelve minus two times three, two times two times three. Oh. Yeah, so then this is, okay. Wow, I haven't done this in a long time. Four times three equals two root three. Wow, guys, I feel, I feel smart. I feel like smart. So it should be this. So that is B. Give this problem to like O1 and see what it can do. Load the file. Uh, is this the one? No, this is the one. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Can it actually do this? And I'm also I'm also going to ask another model to just transcribe this problem for me. So we'll give it this, like the the picture, and then we'll give it the text, and we'll see if it gets different answers. Do do do. Oh, what? What? It did it in. <laughs> it did it in twenty three seconds. <laughs> It did it in 23 seconds. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. Someone needs to like clip how fast that, like how long it took me versus how long it took O1 to do that. That's crazy, guys. Come on. I felt so proud. 
Look how look how careful I was with my math, you know? I was pulling out identities, I was like remembering some difference and it's just like, yeah, that's that simple. That's pretty trivial. Eleven plus one. But hey, I'm glad we both agree. Okay, how much do you want to bet Claude Sonnet three point five can get it can get it? How much do we want to bet with a screenshot it can get the problem? Go here. I can't wait to test the O3 model. I know, right? All right, so we know the answer is B. It should be root. <laughs> wait, what? Oh. Oh my gosh. You fool, Claude Sonnet. How you fool. You messed up. You said B when it say C when it should have been B. I mean, why we plug and work through the trick we get this. <laughs> that was such a lame explanation. That was such a lame explanation, yo. It says, when we plug these values, we just get this. Well, thanks so much, Claude. Um, how about this? Re, uh, write this problem in LaTeX. Okay, so let's go ahead and just double check that actually came out looking good. I don't think I can beat any of these models in any way to maths. <laughs> I mean, it took me like 20 minutes to get this thing, which is, I don't know. I don't want to say sad, but it's just like, it took, it, tw it took me 20 minutes. It took it like 20 seconds. That's, that's not fair, bro. That's not fair, man. Okay. So let's give it this, let's give it the text form of the equation. Can, can, can Claude Sonnet get it if I gave it to it as a text? Remember, the answer is B. Mm-hmm. Nope. The answer is A. It says, nope. Incorrect. Ooh. Also, let's get MISA. I didn't test MISA in my last set of models uh, I was doing. We give MISA... We can't give it... Yeah, we can just only give it text. Okay, here we go. Mysa, 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 can it get root 11 plus root 1 over 2 root 3? Faster than Kyle could do it. Probably. Hey, that rhymed. But I'm not a rapper. Oh, you fool, you're going down the wrong path! That's what I did! Oh no, that's exactly what I did. I was trying to build up to the 6x and stuff using uh, just like... That was a dumb idea. That was, I mean, problem is is that it I mean it could work it's just that it will take much longer it's a lot easier oh oh we got it oh my gosh yo it got it Misa got it I was kind of I was kind of trolling it because I was like ah oh, you're doing the wrong thing of trying to get the trying to get the angle 6x calculate yeah like this step I thought was just way too like I tried doing that and you get these like unwieldy expressions. It's like horrible algebra as a human to do. And um I mean it's not like you can't do it. You can, but it's just way more painful than doing it this way. Studio here, uh flash experimental. Okay. All right, let's let's just do let's go temperature of about half or let's do about half here i've heard half is about it's like a good number for for this kind of stuff so let's give it this let's give it the text how fast can it do it no way oh 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 it is correct <laughs> oh my gosh eight seconds eight seconds are you kidding me uh oh. let's um let's also try and give it the one with the Let's try and give it the picture too. I, I'm I'm always curious to know if they can use vision to uh, solve the problem, right? Like this. Stem are so cooked right now. Are we cooked, guys? Are we cooked? All right. Let's see here. Simplify the expression. No, you can't do it faster, can you? No, it's not taking. Okay, good. Oh, <gasps> oh, it's wrong. It actually got it wrong here. It said the answer is A. It messed up. It's not a difference. So it's off by a minus sign there. And then, but when I gave it the, uh, just the text, it got it. So pretty interesting. 
how with the text it gets it with the picture it does not get it what is this is this flash thinking experimental yeah Hi, like in 2018 when I last checked it, the Wolfram GPT is understanding some physics and probably wrong. What, which are hardcore unification concepts? Really? That's pretty cool. Why don't we give it the Wolfram GPT? Why don't we give Wolfram GPT this then too? Excuse me. Just had a cough there for a sec. Okay, so let's take a look how the model's thinking. Oh my gosh. How fast? How fast? Uh oh, can it do it in under 20 seconds? Uh oh, looks like it's getting kind of stuck here. Not, not stuck, but it's doing a lot of back and forth, back and forth. Oh my gosh, it's it's really getting kind of thrown for a loop here. That's This is amusing. Oh, the option involved with root three or root two. Wait, what? Okay, wait a minute. The final answer is this. Blah, 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 blah. Let the expression be E. Expanding, we get this. So it does recognize, yes. So it, it comes to this correct conclusion here, which I also made that same conclusion. It just took me, you know, not as quick to, to come to the realization that you have this same exact expression. But, you know, we, we all can't be LLMs and and do this that quickly. So is this V3? I can't tell. Which which one am I using? Is this the standard one, just V3? Well, I guess we'll just give it this real quick. Mm-hmm. But I'm not sure if that helps directly. Maybe there's another approach. Yeah. It, oh, man. It's like, it's interesting. That, oh, okay. So it gets that. That's correct. Yep. That's correct. That's correct. And what's the final answer? Oh, wait. No, no. You were, you were, wait. You could have gotten it there, I think. Right? Because you got in root three and then root three. Wait, it doesn't realize it, it can simplify that. You can simplify, but looking back, none of them have root 33, and maybe we need to rationalize find a different approach. Yeah, you need to rationalize. <laughs> rationalize it. Right, that's interesting. So, yes. Wow, that's so cool. It actually, so it got, it gets it correct, but it actually had it earlier here. So it didn't uh, at first realize when it got down to, when it first got down to here, right, you can factor a root 3, so root 3 plus root 33 over 6, this could be root three uh, factor one plus, so this is um, one plus 11. You can sort of see that because 33, right? You can write this as three plus root three times 11, right? And so you can factor a three here and then factor out the root 11 over six, one plus root 11, two times three, cancel, root there so then you get 11 plus 1 over 2 times root 3 so yeah it doesn't recognize you could do that well it didn't recognize on the first pass that it could do that which is kind of amusing here because it says here but looking back at the multiple choice none of them directly match the expression maybe i made a mistake wait, perhaps, wait, perhaps i should rationalize or simplify further so it gets back to where it just began here but looking back at the options none of them have root 33 maybe i need to rationalize before. so it <laughs> it doesn't rationalize the first time that it does realize here Perhaps instead of simplifying the expression directly, I can express everything in terms of sine x and cosine x. Wait, maybe I can use the fact that this, whoa, that's a weird identity. Oh, now it decided to rationalize at the end. Wait, that's interesting. I hate how it does that. It just thinks it's it's sounding too human-like. I hate how it sounds so human-like. <laughs> it's just like, don't talk like that. Don't, don't generate tokens like that. That doesn't make me feel comfortable. I did want to see if... I could just give it the picture. I heard the picture is not that good. Picture recognition capability. So let's just see if it can do that. Parsing. Okay, go here. Two. Okay. All 
All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, <laughs> it just does it immediately. Okay, yeah, no, it's correct. Gets that with the picture. Well, so much for me thinking it was not good at reading pictures. Let's just get Grok. I haven't tested Grok in a while. So let's just see if Grok can, can do it. Grok 2 new. Okay, let's see. How does Grok 2 do? Let's see. Let's see. What do we got here? Bruh. <laughs> Should be related to root 11 plus minus 1 due to the nature of sine x, cosine x. After collision by matching is this. Nope. You are wrong. I'm being so mean to Grok. Maybe I should not be so mean. Maybe I should give it another chance here. Okay. Let's see how it does. Okay. It's option B is the correct. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. Grok is one for two. Grok is one for two. All right. I shouldn't have been so dismissive of its ability. All right. Perplexity it is. Here we go. Can perplexity do it? Someone wanted perplexity, so we'll give it. We'll give the fans what they want. They want perplexity. Ooh, no, A is wrong. A is incorrect. Oh dear, it is incorrect. Oh, I guess we could try pro. All right, pro it is. Bang. All right, we're gonna use pro mode. Here we go. Okay, what are we doing here? Oh, it's using Wolfram. Oh, you're cheating. You're cheating, bro. Oh, you're cheating. No fair. You're using Wolfram Alpha. <laughs> well, that's probably the, the smartest thing you can do, honestly. Wait, what? What's going on here? For, fortunately, oh. Oh, so that that's correct. It's the correct expression. Therefore, the answer is B. Okay, so it combined, well, okay. That was actually pretty clever. It actually used Wolfram Alpha uh, to do that and then actually numerically evaluated it. So, pretty good. How about Quen really quickly? Okay, let's take a look at how Quen's gonna do. Oh, it's kind of, it seems like it's kind of getting stuck here. New to the channel, I like the vids. Well, thank you so much, I appreciate it. Thanks for being a new viewer. It's always nice to, to get new viewers who are interested in math and science and AI and things of that nature. So I appreciate you sticking around. So far, this is generating... Uh, okay, so notes the group, okay, but it should, yes. So you should start using these identities and Okay. That, that is a significant simplification. Oh, oh, actually recognizes this. Yeah, no, that's that's great because now you have to do that. Uh, yeah, that looks good too. Wait, but wait, I thought that's a, I thought you need a square root here, no? Don't you need a square root there? Or am I going crazy? I thought you needed a square root there. Oh, maybe it's, I can't see the square root. Oh, yeah, I think that's probably it. That's what it is. Because, yeah, this looks like option B. So the answer should be B. Final answer, 11 plus 1 over 2. Yeah, there's probably an invisible square root here that doesn't show up. But I did get the right answer. Uh, and then last one for the evening, we'll use QVQ72B picture here. Okay, so it, it realizes that it was incorrect here. Oh, it's off by a minus sign. Oh, Ooh, it's off by a minus sign here. Come on. This is amusing, watching it struggle. Yaha, struggle. Struggle all you might. Gosh, this is this is really getting... <laughs> we've gotten it trapped in a loop, guys. It looks like we've gotten it trapped in a loop. Seems like um, we have sufficiently confused... <laughs> This is given that perhaps I need to accept that the expression is equal to sine x minus cosine x, and that's option A, which is incorrect. But wow, what a fun time we had there, didn't we? Oh my gosh.